Hey guys, and welcome back to Deep Fear, where we last left off, we collected all of our keys. And I did indeed find the way back. It was actually pretty obvious. Right, so, where is our friend? Oh. Apparently she's not here. It's kind of strange. Well, there are three broken parts on the logic board. Good thing is, we have three replacement parts. One. I like the way, <laughs> if you look at the texture now, it kind of looks like they're all in. <laughs> but okay. So, part B. There we go. Now it looks like there's two. Yeah, it definitely is. All three of them are in. That's kind of funny. And part C. You've used the communicator part C. Uh, all broken parts have been fixed. Well, they didn't look broken. They just weren't there. Can anyone read me? Eldred. SOS. Requesting a rescue team immediately. Two survivors and one. Over. Check with sonar. Please wait. What's the matter? Rock speed. Fear of a secondary disaster. Rescue will take time. Hang in there. We don't have much time. Uh, okay. So they have a secondary di disaster up on, uh, <laughs> up on the surface. Not really sure what that's about. So let's go to the junction room to the Sea Fox. And... Ooh. We got a gurgler. Get out of here. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh, he's actually being... He's actually playing a bit rough. Unusual for these things. Well, let's eat. Uh, let's eat an emergency aid. Oh, right. Oh, it is these blue ones that are the basic ones? Ah, right. I thought it was. There we go. Let's pop some air. Okay. So, anything here? The cargo has tumbled down. You can't get past it. That's unfortunate. Where's our friend gone? Hello? Um... Where the hell is our friend? Surely she didn't go through the... Um... Air ducts. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's nothing in here. So we came through there. Let's go through here. Area junction room. Maybe? <coughs> oh. I'm hoping. Ooh. That thing sounds interesting. Ooh, what the f What are these things that are now apparently everywhere? They're problematic because we're really running out of ammo. And I'm hoping we're not going to die here. Okay, the enemies have actually started being somewhat difficult. And we are actually out of ammo, which uh, I never envisioned happening. So, <clears throat> um, let's switch our weapon to the Glock, I guess. We have no choice. Jesus. Uh... Let's get some air back. I also guess we're going to save our game because things are getting a little bit hairy. 
I do mean a little bit hairy. I mean, it's not as if it's, uh, you know, vastly difficult. But without our shotgun, I think we're in for some chop. Right. Yes, we're making our way to a storage room, actually, which could be quite nice. <clears throat> Ooh. Unfortunately... Oh, you bastard. This is bad. Yeah, our handgun does not do much against this thing. Might actually die here. My god, guys, we died. We actually died. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting to get a game over in this game. But there we go. Now, how long does it actually take us to get back into the action? Yeah, okay, game over. Get ya. That was unfortunate. I wonder... I do wonder if... Uh, our 1911 does more damage. And now, this game is going to be incredibly slow. Getting us back into the action, isn't it? Uh, Alright, let's try that. Now loading! Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Let's... Right, let's try <laughs> using our other gun. Because holy shit. Does that handgun suck? It didn't seem to suck when we last used it, which was like thousands of years ago. <coughs> But we definitely do need to get some ammo back. Right. Now I'm not going to say this gun's going to be much better. In fact... Okay. Yes, it is better. But not much. Like, we're talking marginally better. Um, so that's the elevator. We're not going up there, I guess. Hopefully, we can get some gear in here. Hopefully. So, what have we got? Um, yeah, we are going to get bullets. And um, bullets. Now, is there anything in here? Uh. Whoa, what the fuck is that? HKG11. I didn't even see that. Uh, yes. Oh, that's nice. How much do we get before we need to reload? Yeah, a decent amount. Okay. So, we've got a decent weapon. Uh, the only thing is... Um, the only and we hold 630 rounds <clears throat> okay so we've got a new gun um, uh, what are we missing here hmm guess all we've got is a 
uh, I guess we're going to try. Hang on, can we actually go up there? I don't think the elevator will move. Looks like it broke with a tumble. Yeah, just a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. So where's our friend gone then? And we haven't seen Anthony yet either. Which is interesting. Let's drop another actual save here. Now this beastie, whatever the hell this is, is has not come back. So there's that, I guess. At least we've got an actual proper like assault rifle. Like a decent rifle for once. Hopefully it does some good damage too. Um I get the feeling that back here somewhere we probably should have got a key. Uh, is she really not here though? Like seriously, there's nothing? Oh, I guess we're going back through the duct. Um. Oh. Probably could use some health. Wow, we actually have a lot of health, to be fair. Didn't realise we were that well stacked. To be fair, even these little healths are pretty damn good. Uh, I guess we'll go up the ladder. Um... I mean, literally, the only room here that we haven't been in <coughs> is the freezer. <coughs> We've been everywhere else. Let's go check the freezer out. I can't remember which way that was. That was through the e ah, oh, through the epal. You don't like going through the epal. Kind of weird that they give you this gun, like, literally right at the end of the game. But hey, I'll take it. I still don't, I'm guessing if we are going to fight a final boss, it's going to be the monkey. Ooh. Ooh. Can we? Uh-oh. Yeah, fuck this, fuck this. We're just getting roasted. I guess we can't actually hit these with those. Yeah, that... This underwater combat is absolute dog shit. And this underwater weapon that we get just doesn't... It doesn't really seem to do anything. Which is problematic. Uh, where are we now? Gonna need some health. Only have two small healths left, which is not actually good, but you know. Smoke them if you got them, I guess. Um, okay. Actually, because our health is so shit, let's save it. We'll recharge that. Charge the air system. And we shall indeed drop a save. Okay, now. Can we? Ooh. Nope. Can we go through here? Oh shit, we can. The clean freezer. We actually can. Ah, this is where the pod is. Okay. That's fine. Um, can we go through there? 
Wait, so we finally found the pod, but there's nothing we can do with it. Ah, wait. What's this? You Ah, the deep blue project too. Nice. Yeah, authorization, blah, blah, blah. So, Anthony's bodily data. New founding. New founding. New finding? New founding. On the parasite cell found inside Anthony. This PC is extremely similar to the VMH117 bacteria, which can be found all over the world. This bacteria leeches on primates as its final host. The bacteria itself is not harmful. However, it is known that it is easily affected by strong radiation. There is a possibility that space radiation caused this mysterious change from one form to another. The amount of gamma, infrared and ultraviolet radiation in outer space is 10 to 100 times more powerful than on Earth. Add this to the 40 years that Anthony was floating in space. Can you imagine that? Stuck in that capsule for 40 years. These extreme conditions may well have been more than enough for the bacteria to mutate into some incredible parasite cell. It is known that PC accounts for the huge changes in its host. This PC has the ability to slow the host's metabolism and is able to expand the lifespan. It is somewhat like hibernation. If we're able to cultivate this power and the Deep Blue project succeeds, we may have new technology of suspended animation, Ooh. enabling interplanetary travel. People suffering from incurable disease may be put into a hibernated state until a cure is found. The possibilities are endless. But there is one large defect in the PC. The PC starts to duplicate itself inside the host's body and devours the original cells. This results in the mutation of the host internally and externally. I believe that further studies of the cell's DNA will give us clues on this astounding new discovery. In the past, there have been reports on possible lacks of calcium and muscle weakening caused by life in space. Now I feel that we're facing a new problem. Life in space not only is a problem for man, but also a problem for all the bacteria, viruses and parasites living inside of man. That's actually quite interesting. And that was written by Gina. Now, so she knew about this all along. Of course, that makes sense. Now, what's also kind of interesting is the bacteria. Life in space, yeah. I can't see how that would work, though. They're going to use this parasite disease to put people to sleep. Doesn't make anything interesting. Doesn't make any sense at all. But what's interesting to me is why do the uh, mutations look like fish people? Oh, what's this? John. Gina. Tell me everything. Forty years ago, as an experiment. Anthony was shot up into space and returned to Earth. He was in a near-death state. It was almost like hibernation. Commander Clancy was the leader of the pod recovery plan. The Deep Blue Plan. He saw Anthony's condition and thought of something. What? If Anthony's body's mystery could be solved, then it would be possible to develop a cold sleep apparatus making longer space travel possible. Cold sleep? Clancy completed this idea very quickly, so he could again try getting into Washington. If the cold sleep system worked, he could get his promotion and fame. So he started a research program. You knew this and let Clancy use you for his egomaniac plans? <laughs> if the plan succeeded, not only would extended space travel be possible, people suffering from incurable diseases could be helped. As a scientist, I felt I had to be part of this. When the research started, we found that it was a sudden bacterial change that caused Anthony's suspended animation. 
but by then it was too late. And the result is this. I couldn't kill Anthony. I mean... Because of him, the people at the big table die. He spread the parasite itself. It's just instinct for him to save his kind. He didn't mean harm. If you don't mean harm, does that mean you can do anything you want? Stop! I understand how you feel, but he can't be allowed to live or taken back to land. Stop, John, please. For all. <laughs> what? Uh... So So she knew all along that the monkey was uh killing everybody and infected with this nasty virus and she was happy to hang out with the monkey. Does that mean that she knew that she was infected? Could she control this? She decided to mutate when her monkey friend was threatened. Uh, okay, that was odd. And also, why would she not want her monkey friend destroyed? Right, anyway, you fucker. Have some of this. Oh, wait. No. No, that's not it. Is it? <laughs> what? The fuck is that? So it's like a... So she stayed somewhat human. Uh, sure. Why not, I get. Um, she hurts. Okay, well, I guess we're kind of shit out of luck. And I have no idea if we're actually hurting her. I hope we're hurting her. <laughs> this is all very strange. Um, can we, can we... Nope. Uh, I couldn't actually use any healing items because I was stun locked and couldn't open my menu. Uh, okay. Okay. Right, one second. Oh, this boss battles. It's going to be complete anus, isn't it? Interesting difficulty spike though. It's gone from like literally no challenge whatsoever to enemies that can stun lock you and kill you. I mean, I guess to be fair, they had very limited options on how to make a game difficult, I suppose, with this one. 
Um, so, you know, it's hard to be mad at the game. Uh, I suppose we've got all those grenades and things. Maybe they'd be good. I don't even really know how to use them. Uh, we're going to use some save states here because I can see this being an absolute penis. <sighs> so Gina knew all along. She knew from the beginning the whole cause of the situation and she's also quite happy to... Uh, what is safe state again? It's five. Yeah, she's also quite happy to have this monkey go back to planet Earth, which is questionable. Anyway, at least this first phase only takes, like, literally a handful of bullets. Right. Now. This, oh, okay, she's also got some sort of weird flash attack. And it also looks like when we are, when our gun's out, it's very, very slow to get the, to get anything out. Wait, so are we actually hurting her? That's my question. Okay, right, now we're injured. Let's eat. A first aid kit and hope for the best I have no idea if this is hitting her I don't know I think it might be we're literally aiming this gun into her chest cavity and blasting her like if this isn't hurting her I don't know what to tell you right cool okay that's fine can we have some health please uh, we have and now we're aiming at her again I think not 100% sure yep there she is oh we got her I think Sorry, there's no other way except to wait for help. It's the key to the Navy area self destruction switch. The switch is in the engine room. Push it and then get in the pod. The force of the explosion should carry you to the surface. Okay. Oh god, we gotta go back down, haven't we? Um Right, that was very strange. So she's actually still self aware of what she is and who she is. But she still decided to attack us. Okay. I mean, sure, I guess. So we need to go back through. Yeah, we need to go back through the e pool, don't we? Uh, I mean, I guess we can actually put a safe down here. That was a absolutely awful dog shit final battle. But, um, if I'm being honest, did I expect anything else? Not really. <sighs> What's really bizarre about the whole thing is she literally knew what was going on the whole time. And here's us. Here's us complaining, or should I say here's me complaining, about the uh, evil commander who literally abandoned the place to save his own skin and uh, Gina was worse. <laughs>
all along. She was quite happy to take Monkey Boy back to the surface and kill everybody. So, yeah, go figure, I guess. I like the way they give you this machine gun right for the very end of the game. Like, with borderline unlimited ammo. I think we want to go down here, don't we? No. No, we don't. And she also... She also had the key to escape this whole time as well. I mean, I don't know where Anthony's gone. Unless he's going to be another boss. Which, maybe, I suppose. I wouldn't put it past this game. I sure as hell wouldn't put it past this game. Uh Okay. Kinda curious, are we gonna have a time limit to do this? I bet we are. Oh wait. Does that mean we have to get back to the room where Gina's like semi dying? Seriously, we have this like really cool machine gun that we could play with and now that big boss thing doesn't um, spawn Of all the times that this boss thing does not spawn it's now Self-destruction sequence initiated this area will destruct in five minutes So we've got five minutes to get back Ooh Oh, I like the music. This is cool. This is really cool. This is the best music of the game. It's pretty much the only music of the game. Admittedly. Come on, John. Run very, very slowly. I think she actually said... Um, to John that we're not infected, which is fine. I mean, that's actually pretty cool to know that we're not infected. It was almost impossible to actually hear what she was saying. But, sure. Are they not gonna... They're not gonna put, like, any enemies in our way? Really? Nothing? This is very strange. Nothing? Alright. I mean... If you say so, game. I would have thought there would at least be a couple of enemies to try and block our progress. Because five minutes to get back here... Kind of... Feels like all the time in the world, if I'm being honest. Hang on. Ah, bugger. Wait. I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> Here's me giving the game a hard time, and I've actually gone the wrong way. Well, that's definitely something I would do. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we got to go back through the epal. I mean, even still, even with making that grievous mistake there, we still have, like, a hell of a lot of time to do this. Yeah, we still got these beasts. Admittedly, they, they're not really too much of a threat. I mean, they kind of are a threat, but they're not really going to derail anything. I mean, we...
probably used. Should we save it there? I mean, I guess we could. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, we can't, actually. Well. Back to the... Oh, music stop. Trying to work out whether Anthony was being angry or what there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saved somebody. Technically, we saved two people, or two things. We saved the dog, and we saved Echo. Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> well, I mean, that was a game, wasn't it?
Well. Well, Sega. That was definitely a thing. Not sure how that capsule actually made it from the bottom of the sea to the surface because the Harrier jump jet that fell into the water actually got crushed, crushed by the depths. Um, that's a capsule which is designed for space, so it would have literally zero reinforcements for, um, you know pressure uh <laughs> sure i i guess uh, well so thoughts on this game um honestly i didn't think it was that good i'm gonna be straight up here uh i don't know if does that stop the emulation might stop you the emulation. Yep, yeah, didn't think that that was very good, to be honest. Uh, I mean, the the story was all right, uh, just about enough to keep you <sighs> stringed along. But the main characters, no, nope. that's Until just gonna waffle on, isn't it? Kind of like me. Uh, if we go to the loading screen, should keep us on that. Yeah. So the main characters were pretty unlikable. I mean, John was okay. Uh, Sharon was a nothing. <laughs> you know, we had a couple of bits of dialogue with her. I think the most we got from Sharon was her diary. Danny was kind of like, again, a nothing burger. You had um, Gina, who was actually quite a bitch. She was an arsehole the first time you met her. And she was quite content with destroying the world to save her pet monkey. Uh, the enemies in this game were... I mean, visually they looked okay. But they were pathetic. I'd say the same for the weapons as well. They just weren't that good. There was no tension in this game. The lack of music really hurt this game. Um, the sound design in general actually was really bad. The only thing that I did like about the sound in this game was actually the in the e pool uh, and in the feeding uh, pool where you could hear the water lapping. I thought that was actually a really nice, decent lapping water sound effect. Uh, that stuck with me, but the rest of the game was just meh. It's like flavorless, you know? Um, there was, yeah, I wouldn't even call it survival horror because there's not really a lot of danger of you <laughs> not surviving because you've got unlimited weapons, uh, unlimited health for the majority of the game. <sighs> Gina was, like I say, a horrible bitch of a woman who you're supposed to feel sorry for, but actually she was doing her damnness to end the world for some pathetically cringeworthy selfish reasons. The real victim here was Anthony, who was shot into space against his will for 40 years locked in a capsule, brought back down to Earth, uh, you know, full of bacteria and disease. And then his best friend in the world, Gina, grabs onto him and forces him to drown. Yeah, very forgettable cast of characters. Would have been nice to see them do some something else with this game, you know, maybe like um, a second game. There's definitely potential there. And also the ending for this game was really anticlimactic. It wasn't satisfying at all. I mean, Resident Evil 1, to draw a parallel... I mean, there was a few different endings, depending on how well you did, but there was the potential there for a really satisfying ending. This game only has one ending. Um, Silent Hill as well. You got closure at the end. It was satisfying. Um, you know, you understood a lot more about what was going on. And again, multiple endings. 
including some satis satisfying ones. This game, it's just like everybody dies, and you know, you just float to the surface, and that's it. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I'm glad I played it, and you know, I think if I had this game back in the day, I, I might have enjoyed it. But, you know, the PlayStation 1 offerings at the time <sighs> was just so, so superior. A lot of people actually say this is a bit of a hidden classic, but I, I, I'm not seeing it, I'm sorry. I... It's kind of like um, Carrier, I suppose. Actually, I think I enjoyed Carrier a bit more. Yeah, maybe. I mean, Carrier as well was kind of soulless, but it had some interesting things going for it, whereas this game just, just didn't have anything. I mean, it even had that oxygen mechanic, but that, that didn't go anywhere either. You know, I, when we first started playing this, I was quite concerned um, with the oxygen mechanic. I thought that was going to add some tension, add some pressure. But no, because you've got your mask with you at all times and borderline unlimited oxygen grenades and you can just refill the air in most places. So again, the oxygen meter was just pointless. It didn't serve any kind of purpose at all. In fact, you could just forget about it. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, well, anyway, let me know what you thought of this game. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in saying I will probably never touch this one again. But uh, we've got it recorded. We've wrapped it up for history. And um, yeah, yeah. Maybe this one is best left in the past. Till next time, guys.